The Serie A is back in action this week another round of matches as Udinese will square off against a formidable Inter Milan team at the Blunigi Stadium. In the last 46 games between the two teams, Inter Milan has won 29 of them, against Udinese's 14 wins. Inter Milan has a strong recent record versus Udinese. In their previous six Serie A games against Udinese, Inter Milan has won five of them and scored 17 goals overall. Eight of Udinese's past 12 Serie A games have ended in goals conceded. The team lost their previous Serie A matchup by a score of 4-0 in December of last year. Udinese and Sassuolo drew 1-1 in their previous meeting, and they haven't had the same outcome in any of their last nine Serie A games. Federico Di Marco opened the scoring in Inter's 2-0 victory over Empoli at San Siro last week, matching his greatest scoring season in Serie A with his fifth league goal. This season, the Italy international has been directly involved in 11 goals. Simone Inzaghi's team then completed the victory with a late goal from Alexis Sanchez, extending their remarkable unbeaten run in the Italian top division to about 24 games, 20 of which they have won. The Nerazzurri have now won 11 of 12 league games in 2024, conceding just six goals in the process, and are leading the table by double digits, leaving AC Milan and Juventus in their trail. Even so, Gabriel Sioffi's team is starting to show hints that they will avoid relegation. On Monday, after winning two of their previous three away games, overcoming Lazio and Juventus, they drew 1-1 at Sassuolo's Marpe Stadium. Matching up against one of their rivals for survival, Udinese overcame a late deficit thanks to a goal from Florian Thovin, which increased his goal involvement total to three in his previous four games. Though they are only two points above the drop zone, the Biancaneri still have work to do to maintain their long-standing Serie A status. In addition, Brazilian forward Brenner, Kanan Davis, and Gerard Delefeu, who has been out for more than a year, will not be playing for Udinese. Lazar Samadzic, a midfielder from Serbia who just missed out on a summer transfer to Inter, will be keen to make an impression. Maduka Okoye will start between the sticks for the home team in a 3-5-2 system. The back three of Joao Ferreira, Jaka Bihal, and Nehuan Perez all to cover him. As the full-backs, Roberto Pereira and Hussein Kamara should offer breadth. Inter Milan will welcome back Marco Arnutovic after a month-long absence, providing a boost to their attacking options.